Welcome to Auto Instruct. In today's video, we're going to look at installing HIDs in a 2007 Subaru Impreza. Um, whilst this guide is based around this vehicle, a HID install is very similar for most makes and, makes and models of cars. Um, so what you'll need is HIDs. We're using H7s for this car, um, which is an OEM spec globe. And we're using 5000K, which is pretty much a perfect balance between yellow and white or blue colors. So it'll be pretty much white with a touch of yellow. Um, so here we have some HIDs here. Consists of HID globe, a couple of looms, and a ballast. Um, these wires here connect to the original OEM uh, plug in the headlight. When you drill a hole in the back of the headlight, out comes the loom into the ballast, and it essentially runs back into the headlight to then power the HID at a very high voltage. So we've got two of these, one for each side. We've also got self tapper screws. Uh, just screw straight, straight into the sheet metal around the engine bay uh, to mount the ballast. When doing this, make sure you're not actually drilling into the external sheet metal of the car. Um, otherwise, you're going to be straight through into the outside. And we also have a drill with a 25mm um, circular bit on the end. This is to drill a hole in the back of the headlight to then feed the loom through. And we'll show that in a later step. Now, one thing to note when installing HIDs, please don't install them unless you're using projector headlights or well, the car has projected headlights um, as an OEM specification like this Subaru does. Because HIDs in reflectors cause a lot of glare as the HID globe is actually offset differently into a standard halogen globe. And that means you're blinding a lot of other road users. Whilst you can also get special HID globes that, are, um, that have a cover on them essentially that stop that issue, I recommend running Crystal Visions or something similar to that if you've got a reflector. Keep the HIDs to project, to project the lenses. Let's get started. Here we have the headlight cap out of the vehicle. What we're going to do now is drill a 25 mil hole in the middle as suggested by the um, manufacturer of the HIDs. So check the manual, some other holes are 30 mil and some are 20 mil, but ours is 25 mil. And essentially what we're going to be doing is running the uh, loom through the cap like so. So from the OEM plug into here, out to the ballast, which is not connected at the moment, back into the HID globe is high voltage and then we've got a working HID. What we're going to do now is drill a hole in the back of the globe, cap, hold it nice and tight, get it nice and centered well as well, and drill away. Like so. Get rid of all the burrs on it, make it nice and clean. Like so, perfect. So now what we're going to do is feed the HID loom through the cap. Now you want to make sure you do this the right way. Um, in our case, this is the inner side of the cap, so that's the side of the HIDs on. So we're going to be feeding these plugs through to the outside. Now usually one of the plugs is a bit hard to fit through, because it's very big. But with a bit of pulling, you'll get it through like so. And then we've got the last two smaller ones coming in. And then you want to pull one side of the uh, grommet through. So we've got grommet on either side, and this helps just keep it nice and weather tight. Then you can pull these wires in and out as required, um, separate to the grommet. So when you plug it in, plug it in, pull out the slack. Um, you want to get as much slack out of the headlight as possible. And then we've got one globe installed. We'll go ahead and get the other one ready uh, off camera, and then we'll look at installing it in the vehicle. Also make sure that you keep this cover on the globe um, until you're about to install it um, and don't touch the globe with your fingers ever. Uh, if, if you do, clean it with um, alcohol wipes or similar because the oil on the globe will actually cause it to overheat. So here we are on the driver's side of the vehicle. We've taken off the dust cap already and here we have the H7 OEM globe. So to get this globe off, we simply pop off these metal tabs like so. Let me just get my finger in that one. There we go, like so. When the two tabs are off, they'll drop backwards. So pull them down like that. And then the globe itself will pop out separately to it. Now for most cars, it'll be slightly different depending on the globe type and the configuration. So now I've released the globe. Um, you can always check your OEM handbook on how to change the globes. So here we have the OEM plug, um, red and black wires. And here we have the two plugs from the HID. 
what we're going to do now is plug these into the OEM plug. So making sure you match up black on black and red on red. This is something you don't want to get wrong. Oops, didn't push this one in enough. So make sure they're seated in there nice and firmly. Then when that's done, we're going to install the HID globe, which is here. Now again, making sure not to touch the globe with your fingers, pull it out of its casing. And then depending on the globe type, um, it'll sit in here a little bit differently. But in our case, we're just going straight down with the tab sitting at the bottom. So apologies for blocking your view. But the tab will sit in like so. And then we simply pull up the two metal uh, tabs, I guess you'd call them, and slot them back in place. There's the one on the left side, right side, and there's one on the left side, like so. Pretty simple. And then what you do is pull out any excess slop in the looms. So the HID sits nice, um, like almost not tight as such, but just sits um, in there without any excess cable. Now I just have to feed the um, actual cap back on because it did pop off a short moment ago. So I'll pull this through like so. And as I'm putting this on, you can't see it, but I am actually pulling in any excess cable. There we go, spin it on. And that's the HID globe installed. Make sure the grommet's sitting there nicely and now we'll mount the ballast. So what we've done is we found a spot for the ballast on this side of the headlight. Um, unfortunately, the cables are a bit tight, so it won't sit perfectly straight. That's not really a big issue um, under here. So here I'm just using a self tap of screw to screw it in. Like so. Not too tight. Otherwise you risk breaking the bracket. And then we have one HID ballast installed nice over here. Um, just show from this side. There you go, installed there. So on this side we've already installed the HID and headlight globe, much like the driver's side. And we've got the ballast sitting here ready to be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. Now we've got the balance installed quite nicely here. I'm very happy with this spot. And we should be good to go. So there we have it. A H7 5000K HID kit installed on a 2007 Subaru Impreza. As you can see, off the reflection on my hand, it's a nice white colour which is exactly what we wanted for this customer. 4300K is a more yellow color, but it has more light output. And 6000K is more of a slight blue tinge, but has less output in terms of lumens. So if you want nice and bright HIDs, go for the 4300 option. But if you're more concerned about color like we are here, we want it nice and white, we've gone for 5000K. Now in these lights, OEM is a 55 watt halogen globe, but we've only needed to use 35 watt HIDs to already quadruple the light output um, in terms of real life on the road. You do not need 55 watt um, HID units in a 55 watt um, OEM specification because it is simply too bright um, and you also risk overheating the housing as they do heat up quite a lot. So 35 is quite adequate where the OEM specifies a 55 watt halogen globe. Thanks for watching today's auto instruct video and good luck installing your HID kits.